Welcome to EDAR 605 Arts Education 1, Discourses Shaping Arts Curriculum, Pedagogy and Policy. My name is Adam Staples and I'm the LIC for this unit um, over the next 12 weeks. I've met some of you before, um, some of you um, are new to me, but I look forward to working with you all. And the purpose of this short video is to welcome you to the unit and also to step you through how it looks on LEO, which is the learning management system, the online learning management system we use here at LEO. So when you log into LEO and um, you look down the navigate, navigation bar on the left hand side and you find EDAR 605, when you click on that link, um, you'll see a screen that looks very much like the one you can see on the video at the moment. At the top, we've got uh, the title of the unit, and then there's a series of icons. At the moment, there aren't that many um, icons or sections, and, and as the semester progresses and as we become more familiar with the unit, more and more of those will begin to appear. I just don't want to have the full 12 weeks worth of content up at the beginning, as it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes in that online space. However, the, the way the unit is structured, I think you will find um, fairly intuitive and each module is set up in the same way. So once you have familiarized yourself with module one, um, you're really um, set to go for the remainder of the semester. So um, the other sections that we have, when you click on the unit information section, you will have the um, welcome video, which you're watching um, at the moment. Then there is a section for the unit outline. At this particular moment in time when I'm recording the video, the generic unit outline is available, which is this one here. The extended unit outline, which has the specifics on the 2018 iteration of the unit, is just awaiting final sign-off, and hopefully I'll be able to get that up either this evening or on Tuesday morning. So in the postgraduate programs, we do like to provide both the generic unit outline, the GUO, and the extended unit outline, the EUO, so that you can see what was um, signed off by Academic Board, which is the, the, grad, the GUO, and then how I have developed that unit into an extended 12-week experience. So um, the, the generic unit outline really offers you much of the information that's in the extended unit outline. Uh, what I do is I add more readings and I also um, sort of contextualize the assessment task a bit more. So the, the, the two assessment tasks do not change, but I give you a little bit, or, bit more information about how to um, complete those. Then there's a little bit of information about myself and very importantly an acknowledgement um, of uh, Dr. Donna Mitchell who um, put together the unit and um, so she was she's sort of the foundational lecturer and uh, she delivered the earlier iterations of the unit. Navigating around the site on Leo you can either use what is called a breadline which is this series of tiles at the top or if you were to click on home you then go to the the home page of the unit that looks like this. The next section is the communication section and this is going to be important throughout the semester as this is how we communicate with each other. In this section there are two forums, there's questions and queries for Adam and important messages from Adam. If you have any questions or queries about the unit that are not of a personal nature so you're happy for everybody to read them please post them in there and as and when I have important messages uh, for the whole cohort, I'll put them into important messages from Adam. So it's a good idea to get used to checking in with those two, two forums as and when you can. In the assessment section, we've got our two assessments. So there are, there are two um, tasks this semester. There's assessment one and assessment two, um, both of which are worth 50% um, of the unit. And um, obviously these do not change, and um, so I would uh, encourage you to take some time to read through them and if you've got any questions about them put them into the questions and queries for Adam and uh, we will certainly be examining these assessments in more detail uh, once, the once the semester has started. The next section for you to have a look at is um, the unit roadmap and so this is a this is where the the format of the unit begins to um, sort of take shape the way I develop all of my online units and modules um, and uh, it, it sort of gives you a, a guide through um, uh, what we're doing in the unit, so the, the, difference, the different modules. 
You can see here at the top where you've got the colored bars, they are really recommended ways of starting um, EDR605 and a, and a similar format is used in the modules and that'll be how to start each week or how to start each module. Um, so this section goes through module one, two, three, and four. Um, an important, and I would I recommend you to read them because it just gives you that good overview. I'd also ask you to read um, the section called Some Remarks on Expectations. And, and in this, what I have done is um, I've spoken about communities of practice and the importance of, of um, actively and collectively engaging in, in the content. And um, within each module, there are a series of online tasks, which are some, like, sometimes called e-tivities. And these are designed to enhance and support and deepen your learning. So the e-tivities do not have any waiting. So there is not a requirement to um, complete them. But you know, in, in an effort to be self-directed and in an effort for that sort of transformative to occur, I'd really encourage you to go through the tasks because they scaffold each assessment task. Um, in a way, you know, you might want to look at those as being um, a virtual version of a face-to-face -face workshop. Um, and I'll show you what they look like um, a little bit later on. But we, we, we talk about them as well throughout the, the course of the semester. So once you've had a look through the, um, the unit roadmap, um, uh, click onto module one and see what the first module looks like. So this module um, covers weeks one, two, and three. And you can see at the top here what we're looking at in each individual, um, individual week. Again, you've got some very simple guideline, guideline steps just to take you through how to engage with this module. Um, there's an introduction, and then you've got your readings. Now, the readings look voluminous. Don't worry about it. You'll, you'll notice here we've got Cortex 1A, B, 2A, 3A, 3B, and 3C. So they, the, the Cortex 1A and 1B really align with um, week one. Cortex 2A aligns with um, week two, and so on. Um, all of the readings are online links, so they're all down. You can you can click on them and download them or access them. You don't need to be um, purchasing any text yourself. And then we've got a discussion forum. So um, in in the activity, you are encouraged to to um, develop that community of practice and, and actually have um, discussions with each other. And I will be part of that um, as well. Then you've got your your actual tasks. Um, so. A reminder that they're they're not weighted, okay. So you don't have to do them, but I would really encourage you to, and I'd really like you to engage them because they're there to help you um, in the absence of a face-to-face -face workshop. And the way they're set up is you have um, this one here with the icon with a tick is a quiz on Leo, and so this is actually the 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 task for the week, and you can say yes or no as to whether you've completed them or not. So it's a way of keeping you. Um, sort of on task. If you want to download the questions before um, you you complete that, that quiz, um, you can do so uh, by clicking on um, the PDF version, and that is literally just the PDF version of the, of the task. When you click on the quiz version, you'll see that um, it, there, there are really sort of a series of, of, of questions for you um, to complete. Now, they, they you know, that. There is quite a lot of work in there, um, and this is part of what you do on a weekly basis in order to um, meet the learning outcomes of the unit. So to meet the learning outcomes of the unit, it's more than just completing the two major assessment tasks. You need to be looking at the readings, you need to be unpacking them. Um, you are really encouraged to engage in conversation through the discussion forum and to ask questions of each other and of me and you know, I'll ask questions of you, and we actually um, have those discussions around um, around the content. And um, the way that I have set this up is that in in module one, there are week one tasks, week two tasks, and week three tasks, and these are um, very closely aligned with um, with the readings. And once the semester has started and we're familiar with this particular format, um, I'll then open up the the other modules as well. I just, as I said, I just don't want them all there to be at the beginning because experience has shown me that that can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. So, you know, where, where do you start? I suppose the, the, 
best way is to um, sort of take note of what I've said in this in this welcome video, um, and then begin to examine, uh, then have a read of the roadmap, and then examine um, module one, and then return to the unit um, throughout um, this sort of pre-week uh, to have a look at the EUO. But as I said, the extended unit outline is not going to be vastly different. Um, it's from the generic unit outline. It's really just waiting for the sign off on on you know on the on the content that's been devised. As I said, if you have any questions or queries that are of um, sort of public um, worth or, or note, please put them into the um, questions and queries for Adam in the communication tab. If there's something of a more private nature, please feel free to email me. And I look forward to working with you all over the next 12 weeks.